Hello, this video will show you how to assign a map layer to a data column in Oracle Analytics Cloud data visualization. So to begin with, let's build a simple map using cells by city in our sample data set. So I'm selecting these two columns and I'm asked to create best visualization. So this produces a bar chart by city and I'm going to manually change this to a map. And the system takes a few seconds here because behind the scenes it's selecting which map layer best matches our data and the values in our data. So here it came back with a layer. If I expand this I will see which layer that is. So in this case it selected the world cities layer. We could overwrite this for this viz here at this point but we have another option in OAC 5.5. It's to assign a layer once and for all to a data column. So if I go to prepare tab, select the location details choice in the menu on the column city here in this case, because that's the column I want to assign a layer to. And that opens a window where I can assign a specific layer to this column. So I could pick any of the vanilla layers or any custom layers as well. In this case here, let me pick USA cities to pretend that I would want that map to come up when I use this column. So I can see in my case that a lot of my data do not match any values in the USA cities. That's because my data is worldwide. And obviously USA cities layer is USA only, but I still want to okay this just for the sake of this demo. So now I can see that my city column has a visual icon indicating that it is assigned a map layer. So let me apply this change to our data set and let's go back to the visualize tab. Since we've changed the map layer, we can see that now the map automatically comes on the USA cities layer. And if I wanted to create a new visualization using the city column, so let's say city and profit, and let me pick best visualization. By default this time, I can see a map, not a bar chart. And by default, it's using the USA cities map layer, which I have assigned to the column. So it didn't require the system to guess which layer was the best. It went right to USA cities. And this is improving a lot the rendering performance. So like on any other map, I can still override location matches issues. So this is showing me all my data points that do not belong to my USA cities layer. So I can remove them from the visualization, the project or the canvas. This is the same feature as other maps. If I wanted to, I could also easily unassign a column from a map layer and just go in the prepare tab and undo what I did. So this feature is particularly useful when we want the experience of a column to default to a map in a given map and or for instance to assign custom map layers like a, an office floor plan for example to be attached to a given column like an office ID. Thanks for watching this video.